Oh, oh. Today's the day. Um, I have my first ever big orchestra recording. <sighs> oh, I'm so excited, nervous, happy, excited, nervous. I'm not like everything in between. But um, yeah, I think I'm ready. I mean, like the last couple of days, I didn't sleep that much because I had. To like prepare my whole score and proofread it myself, ask other people to proofread it, like get all these like little mistakes out of it. But I think it's gonna be fine, especially because the Budapest Orchestra is going to play it. And the thing is that my classmates they already been doing the recordings. It all sounds fantastic, like fantastic. I hope that my music is also going to sound fantastic. Mm -hmm. Usually we only hear the music from uh, mock-ups or from Sibelius or from no performer. It all sounds a little bit generic so yeah it's gonna happen <laughs> it's gonna start in as you can see one minute and around 35 seconds I'm still waiting until like uh, the studio engineer is here hello we continue very soon okay cool. <laughs> I hope everything is going well there oh we are we are fine thank you how are you I'm really good I'm super, super excited for the session so yeah Let's go. Great, great. Our conductor Peter has a question. Peter, please yeah. go ahead. As we heard about E, maybe you would have not figured that we sounded because the tempo is too slow, so it required it to bring the tempo. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's good if the length of the, the notes would be like 8. Is, it, is that possible? Yes, so it starts, it starts earlier. Yeah, exactly. So I want like to have this, uh, this, this feeling of like discomfort in that piece. Great, thank you very much. Sounded really well already. I have a few things. I would like to start a little bit more silent. So for the cello and for the English horn, it's pianissimo, but I still want it to be like a little bit more silent if that's possible. Further, at bar five, the English horn uh, starts the English horn. Oh, that's the clarinet. It also starts a little bit too loud. So I would like to have that a little bit more silent as well. And I would like to have the cello in E, so bar 26, to not go that loud. So maybe go instead of fortissimo to like forte or maybe like a mezzo forte. Depends on what feels good. Okay. Yeah, and further, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So uh, let's uh, move on. So guys, here's the score after recording. Um, here are also the notes. That's how I basically did it. So I write down like what I wanted to change. So it's here like pianissimo, but I wanted to have to be like even more silent, right? Here there's a comma, which basically means that the English horn right there could take a break before getting into bar five. But I wasn't sure like how the instrumentalists would do this. So I just 
and note it and see if it was good or not but he did a great job like a really great job in bar 17 something went wrong with the intonation of one of the instruments i'm not sure which one it was so during a recording session it's also okay to say like think about the intonation that's a polite way to say but also like a quite straightforward thing to do uh if we go to the second page annotated portamento right here because I want to have like a, a slide between these two notes between note 3 uh, B3 and beat uh, 4 um, the only problem with this is apparently you if you would like to have a good slide then you have to write down like all in string G or all in string um, A it depends on which kind of a string you are would like to play the, the violin in this case there was a mistake from my end but they did it very well so the note says like play it a little bit later to make it more like like a connected slide effect instead instead of like a you know also here the the cello was a little bit loud, wanted it to be softer and also at the end softer. And right here at uh, section F, the clarinet started a little bit too loud, so yeah. Like in general, everything went pretty well. The only thing what wasn't really how I wanted it was basically the, the dynamics. And how I could make it fit a little bit more and like glue it together. So here I have a, another note, which is called take 4 was the best. After take four, those takes were also good, but I really had to write it down because otherwise I would forget it uh, when I'm going to like mix everything and like comp the whole stems together. So yeah, overall, I'm very happy with my first ever recording with a orchestra. Wow, I'm a happy man.